time for our series of reports on the five major party presidential hopefuls and their efforts to uh, swing voters in their favor. Today, our Kim Hae Sung shows us how Yu Sung Min from the splinter right wing Padun Party is promising to provide new hope for the conservatives. Clear and rational, but also warm and compassionate. Under the slogan, New Hope for the Conservatives, presidential candidate Yoo Seung Min of the Parin Party, which recently split with what's now the Liberal Korea Party, has vowed to answer the people's call for political reform and social justice. The 59-year-old former economist entered politics in 2000. He's in his fourth term as a lawmaker representing his hometown of Daegu, and in 2015 served as floor leader for the now defunct Senuri Party. On the first day of campaigning, Yu Seung Min visited the Incheon Landing Operation Memorial Hall, showing a strong stance on national defense. Located where U.S. led Allied forces landed in 1950 and turned back North Korean forces in the first year of the Korean War, it was a symbol of his determination to turn the tide of this short presidential race in his favor. In the first three days of the campaign, Yu also visited schools, traditional markets, and subway stations across Seoul. But he hasn't limited his campaign to the capital city or just to the regions with a history of voting conservative. Here at Pungnamun Gate in Jeonju, uh, people of all ages have come out to support uh, Yu Seung Min, who is making his first visit to the southern part of the country since the start of the official campaign period. I already visited the southeastern region, my home turf of Daegu, a couple times before the official start of campaigning. So, as my first stop outside the capital, I wanted to visit the southwest, where my support is the lowest. I'm not playing regional politics, so be it southeast or southwest, I'm willing to go anywhere as long as there are citizens who long for a new conservatism. With warm smiles, handshakes and hugs, Yu greeted his supporters in Cheonju who had waited hours to see him. He has the virtues to be a good, reliable politician and the required skill sets to lead our country as the son of the late parliament member Yu Suho. I think Yu Zung Min really nailed the presidential TV debates. He has confidence and a clear set of beliefs and values. Out of all the candidates, Yu Seung Min has the most knowledge of defense and economic policy. As a center-right politician with a conservative stance on defense and liberal economic policies, Yu explained why he broke from the former ruling Senuri Party in 2016 and founded the Padin Party. The reason I founded the Padun Party is not just because of the impeachment of the former president. I want to start a new kind of clean politics. We are at a time when social inequality is at a record high. I want to reform the country and help the middle class. To do that, Yu's Padun Party headquarters in Seoul has laid out detailed policies to create a fairer market economy supported by more generous social welfare. Our party's goal is to create a country where people want to start families and raise children. And our candidate Yu Seung Min, who has a PhD in economics and experience working at the Korea Development Institute, has more economic expertise than any other presidential candidate. Despite his detailed campaign pledges, Yu's support remains in the single digits. The Padin Party is pinning its hopes on Yu's strong performance in the debates, which has made headlines, and his creative campaign. Our group was formed only recently, and we can't spend as much money as the other camps. To maximize efficiency, we're being creative, like using bicycles and scooters instead of cars and trucks for our street campaign, which helps create a sense of friendliness. At a time when people are disillusioned with the conservative bloc following the nation's biggest corruption scandal, Candidate Yu Seung Min is pledging to create a warm new conservatism that can bring the country together. Kim Hae Sung, Arirang News.